Hello. My brain is just so fried. I've been lying here for the past while just praying in tongues and just really digesting the experiences from today. The thing is that this workplace, of course, when you're dealing with humans, there will be the pros and cons with any single person that you deal with. Uh, and this workplace, looking around, it is significantly better than the previous workplaces that I've been in. People actually look out for each other. They actually, uh, there isn't gossiping and backstabbing and all that kinds of stuff. There is no tolerance for creepy behavior. People are uh, more mature and yeah, there's just none of the sleazy, weird, backstabbing behavior that I was used to, that I had to work in, in the previous workplaces. Now in saying that, it's also made me realize that I am a traumatized little chook. <laughs> like, <laughs> from working at these previous places, <laughs> I've only just realized working here, I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I'm just like actually just so traumatized from the last workplaces <laughs> because I'll literally be going through my shift, okay? And I'll just have this random thought pop up. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get fired any moment now. <laughs> like, I will find it. I'll just randomly have, you know, um, fearful thoughts or feelings pop up when I'm talking to management and all that kinds of stuff, being like, oh, no, I, I um, was too friendly or I, you know, was too vulnerable around this person or I talked to them like a normal person. I actually, you know, had a degree of connection in our conversation. No, no. And... I realize that I've like gone to this really fearful place when I've just been having a normal conversation with these people because of the previous management where they just fancied themselves to be like gods and they wanted you to speak to them in such a weird way and they just they were very weird especially in the bar that I worked at it was like rather it was gross the way management would behave at that bar. Uh, yeah, they, they they did expect to be treated like some sort of demigods. They were they were weird. Not all of them, but a majority of them were. It was a very strange dynamic. And so now coming into this new workplace and having managers that are just so down to earth and that are relatable. It's just got me doing like, especially with the manager at the cafe, uh, like far out, that chick was just a straight up bully, a pure bully. Uh, and so she's very passive aggressive and very sneaky. And so now that I'm working in this new place, I'm like, I find myself always second guessing and just like going through these moments of doubt and just wondering like, oh, they're going to switch on me on any second now or, you know, they're, they're building a case against me to try to get me fired and all that kinds of stuff. And it's just made me realize how truly traumatized I am. And even I notice that with the security clearance that I'm going through, I had to have a bit of a laugh today because... With the security clearance that I'm going through for this job, the crowd have hit me up multiple times a day, every single day since I started the process. 
and then it wasn't until yesterday I expected emails from them and I got none and today I got no contact from them either and I was like oh my gosh like something's gone wrong you know it's my brain's just really jumping to the worst conclusions and I'm just going throughout this new job just assuming that the worst is going to happen any moment now and so and even when it came to talking to a co-worker like of course I've experienced so much two-faced behavior from people and so much jealousy that even when a co-worker was having a normal conversation with me getting to know me I could feel myself just really fighting the urge to clam up and go quiet because I didn't realize how hurt and wounded I was from all the previous co-workers that I had trusted in the previous friendships that I had trusted with information and not recognizing the jealousy and the ill intention behind it whereas with this girl I could recognize that she was uh, genuine and so I was just like I walked away from the shift just really realizing I have some issues <laughs> you know because it's like I've noticed that I'm on the of the inclination to act from a place that I'm familiar with and so obviously since I've been in these toxic workplaces for almost a year that's what is familiar to me and I've heard of this case where people will live in a toxic or unhealthy environment and then they'll go out into society and then they'll just wreak havoc and you know upset people around them because they're just recreating the environment that they're used to and so I notice that inclination within myself now that I'm in this healthier workplace that although I wasn't creating the toxic environment at the previous workplaces I've noticed this inclination and my own thoughts and feelings to start to veer towards that behavior because that's what I had become used to as the environment. And so I'm very, very surprised. But in saying all this, I know that this is just another part of the process. It's just another part of uh, divulging wisdom from these experiences and uh, gaining understanding about these experiences so that I can understand God's children and also further the heart of Christ in many different areas and all that kinds of stuff. So, you know, like I can't really speak into an area or relate to a person in their life if I myself have not gone through it. And so... Yeah, I was left in charge of closing up the place. And yeah, so I was like the last person left uh, in the shop for about, well, I don't know, in the venue for about half an hour. And I just really had a moment to be able to sit alone and just pray as I was closing up the place and just really address some of these negative thoughts and feelings and these traumatized beliefs that I was operating in that this kind of impending feeling of like doom and gloom I'm going to lose my job any second uh someone's going to stab me in the back people aren't genuinely that kind uh you know or these extremely negative thoughts and I was just like expecting the worst and I just sat there and I just really prayed through some things and I noticed I had this point of recognition where I noticed that I was focusing on the negative things in my life that I didn't want as I was praying to God 
And then I was just like, hang on. I should actually be focusing on the things of God that I do want and just lay down all this negative stuff that I'm noticing that's going on, like these fears and these expectations of doom happening any moment. And so as I went through all this, I was just like, I had some much needed revelation And I've gotten to the point of praying in tongues because there's just so much to pray through. And truth be told, I don't want for my time there to actually detract from that place. Because I can notice that I (laughs) did come in there very wounded, very jaded. And just, and so a majority of my time, whenever I come home from work, I'm just rapid firing, praying in tongues. Because I can recognize so much things within my character that are bubbling to the surface that do not reflect the heart of Christ and would actually do quite a lot of damage to people that just do not deserve to be in harm's way well no one deserves to be in harm's way and so yeah I just don't want to be the perpetrator of such ungodly behavior it's definitely an eye-opener because when I was working in the toxic workplaces I could justify and I could understand why I was thinking negative things and feeling negative things and all that kinds of stuff. That's because I could see there was a lot of negativity going on around me. And so naturally, I would respond to that. But now that there isn't a lot of negativity going on around me, I'm like, well, there's actually no justification for why I'm thinking and feeling this way. So I need to really just do better. And so I decided today, I was like, I'm just trusting in God. I'm just suiting up and I'm warring in the spirit and I'm doing all the refining and I'm making sure that I do every single thing in this time that I am in this place and I am honoring God and I actually noticed tonight that I had I had this moment where I prayed and recognized this genuine desire to just really honor the management in that place And to just really be an employee in that place that would really reflect the heart of Christ. And I've never actually had such a sincere, genuine, heartfelt desire to want to honor and just try and bless those in management as I have here. Also today I did recognize this moment where I was getting quite a lot of giggles and stuff. But something in my spirit just felt off about the fact that I was laughing about certain things. And so then I came home and I checked in with God about why I was laughing about these things. And that's when I realized that 
it was actually from a place of dismissiveness and pretty much pride as well where when I was faced with something that wasn't within my uh, direct interests that I'm aware of I would just laugh and you know just try and divert away from the situation with laughter and then you know distract myself and then it was in this moment that I realized oh no I need to take an active interest in what other people are interested in I can't just laugh and then you know and then try to find a way to slide on out I need to actually turn up and share and other people's experiences because it says in the word to do that to have normal conversations and to take an interest in other people's lives and so I'm so glad I'm so thankful for this job I've just realized that with going through all the negative management experience with going through all the negative customer uh, situations and you know just the clientele that you deal with the drunken ones and the aggressive ones and all that kinds of stuff and after dealing with people who just treat you like you're not human, all that kinds of stuff. Dealing with management that pretty much expe expect you to work several hours on end and starve because they're counting every single penny and they're treating you like you're just some sort of animal that's there to make their money without, you know, basic human needs being met and all that kinds of stuff it's <sighs> all these extremely negative experiences that I've had in the workplace in the past year has made me extremely grateful for this job that I'm in now even with the trials that I went through uh to get this job and the interviews that I went through to get this job in the past uh, few weeks and looking over the contracts that other jobs offered me and all that and seeing how significantly better this job is, how significantly better the management is, how significantly better the hours are, how significantly better things are operated and run, it just really... I am so grateful. But also I feel as though I should also add this is that it is a very hard and fast learning experience. Hence why with these vlogs I just tend to get home and I just start sharing the things that come off the top of my head after I've prayed and spent time with God because previously when I used to do these vlogs I would really dwell on something and I would really just spend quite a few hours dwelling on something and then I'd uh, do a journal entry and I'd pray on it and all that kinds of stuff whereas now things are like it's like sprinting galore uh, and God just saying no, just speak on it, just speak on it, just speak on it. And, you know, and then God will address with me things that need to be refined. Like the other day, I probably won't even upload this vlog, but yeah, God was like, okay, just speak on um, these things and just, you know, just go. And so then I just, you know, started rapid firing, speaking on these things and then I was just like a few times as I'll speak, it's like, oh, that didn't quite feel right. Oh, there's a tick in my spirit there. Oh, I'm just, I'm not too sure, you know, I should articulate that part better. And then sure enough, 
that's when the Holy Spirit afterwards was like, yeah, nah, that's, that's not quite right, that part. Yep, you, you, you need to really refine your soul more in this area and, you, and that area and the other area and these other areas as well. But as you can see, you can see the very raw and real experience of my growth and coming throughout all these moments as well. But anyway, I'll leave you at that. Bye.